Joey Hand in the car at times, Priest in the car at times, doing a great job as we see the 43 takes the lead away from Cindric. Oh, oh big wreck back behind. And there's the 15 involved. Ty Dillon in the 42 also involved. 24, right Byron. Rack has last Lowski. he was having a good day. Bubba Wallace. Looking off the helmet cam of Bubba Wallace. Tries to fire it back up. Tyler Reddick went through the grass. You see it all on that grill opening. Oh, no. William Big damage Byron. on William Byron on that right front. It's such a fast car today. Now, now listen, I said big damage. I'm, I'm, I'm almost going to take that back. We have seen the one car, I'm going to call it similar damage, maybe not as much in the front, yeah. but the scent fenders and stuff, and they taped it up, and it was great. So we're just going to have to see. It looks like that right front shaking yeah. around a little bit. I can't tell if it's flat or has a broken toe link. We'll take a look. This is how did it happen here, guys? Let's take a look. Oh, the 15 gets out of shape, out of the gas. Nobody has anywhere to go. I don't know if the 15 might have had a flat enter in the corner. It looked like he was having some type of an issue and out of the throttle. And you I could see him checking the back of the car. So watch the 15. He's lifting, wiggling out of the throttle. And these, this is a super speedway type of event where if a guy's lifting like that, you've got nowhere to go. You see everybody, everybody piling in. See Todd Gillen is having a good day early. He's got a little damage. That wiggle right there, and just Kyle Larson couldn't see that. He had no idea that that problem was going on. Got in the back of Ty Dillon. Forty-two calls that. Forty-two just dumped us. He is so stupid sometimes. I don't know if I agree. I think I mean, the 15's wiggling loose out of the gas, and them guys can't, you know, they can't go anywhere. I mean, the 42's getting run over. Uh, Ty Dillon and all those guys really had nowhere to go to be able to avoid the 15. Yeah, I understand the frustration, and unless we miss something, I don't see how that is Ty Dillon's fault. There's Let's another car right behind that 42 of Ty Dillon as well. Let's take another look. This is leaving, I believe, one and two to get ready to head down the back stretch. He's just out of the frame right. He's behind this 10 car. You're going to see this 12 in line, the pink 15 right behind him. Goes down in the corner. I mean, listen, so did Larson the 42, hit the 42. Well, did the 42 make contact and hit the 15? Yes. But the, the 15 was absolutely not at pace with every other car. I mean, I thought the same thing you drivers thought, that the 15 had an issue. If it was a handling issue, then I, I can't put that on Ty Dillon. I mean, that is a huge closing rate going into turn three.